Hey, Ryota. You're late. I arrived in school in the morning to find someone sitting on the desk I always use. It was my childhood friend, Akina Takayo. I've told you a hundred times, don't sit on my desk. Especially with your legs open like that. You're technically a girl, right? Technically? What do you mean, technically? I'm just your average girl. Ask anyone. Average girls don't sit with their legs open on boys' desks. Shut up. Stop making such a big deal out of it. We're childhood friends, aren't we? What does that have to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. You boys care too much about trivial stuff. And you care too little about it. <sighs> Lighten up, Ryota. Akina is always like this. Even though she's a girl, she acts just like one of the guys. She used to be cute, but now I can't think of her as anything but just another one of the guys. Looks like you're having a hard time, Akachi-kun. Oh, Kanagi-san. This is Fuyuka Kanagi. She's regarded by everyone and her grade is the hottest girl in school. Looks like she was really laying into you back there. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm used to it. Wow, you really are pretty strong, huh? Strong men like you are really reliable. That's so attractive. Really? Thanks. You're really nice, too. Calm and collected, like an adult. It's great. Thanks. What is this? This feels like an abnormal level of praise. Do you want to hang out today after school? Huh? Why? I just want to hang out. Is that so bad? No, it's fine. Let's hang out. Yay! I've actually been wanting to hang out with you for a while now. Why? Do you, do you have to make me spell it out? Kanagi-san looked at me with those adorable eyes of hers again. Does she mean... H hold up! Huh? What's up? I'm going too. Let me hang out with you guys. Why do you want to come? I gotta keep watch and make sure you don't do anything weird. Huh? Sorry, Takajo-san, but I really want to hang out with just me and Akachi-kun. Or would you rather hang out with her, Akachi-kun? Huh? Wait, what kind of question is that? A normal question? So, what's it gonna be? I, uh... I want to hang out with Kanagi-san. Just the two of us. Uh, yay! Thank you! Kanagi-san, what's gotten into you? Uh, sorry. I was just so happy I couldn't help myself. Kanagi-san started snuggling up next to me. She's like an angel. Much cuter than a certain childhood friend. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Anyway, I'll see you after school. With that, Kanagi-san went back to her seat with a smile on her face. <laughs> All going according to plan. Serves you right, Takujo-san. <sighs> I think Akina is feeling left out now. This is my one chance to go on a date with Kanagi-san. I felt bad seeing Akina look so sad, but she was being too friendly up until that point. After all, we're both in high school. We can't be together all the time like we used to be. That's what I thought at the time. Ryota? Hmm? What's up? Do you have a little time after school? Uh, but... I know, I know. It would just be for a sec, okay? I already had plans with Kanagi-san after school. The fact that she was asking this of me despite knowing that and seeing how desperate she looked, I couldn't say no. Okay. I decided to meet up with Akina after school real quick. After school... Thanks for coming. Akina greeted me with a smile when I arrived. Why did you want to meet all the way over here? Do you really have to make me say it? Oh, I, um... I had a feeling I knew what she was going to say. She wasn't acting her normal, cheery self. I have something I want to talk to you about. What is it? I... Uh, I like you. Hmm? Ever since we were in kindergarten. So, will you go out with me? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? You're going on a date with Kanagi-san, right? I wanted to tell you how I feel before you fall for her. Akina seemed to have known for a long time that I only thought of her as my childhood friend. Which is why she was acting the way she was. I was not expecting that kind of confession, so I didn't know what to do. So, what's your answer? I, uh... Huh? You said you had something you had to do. I wouldn't have guessed that something was talking to Takajo-san. Uh, 
Panagi-san, what are you doing here? Huh. <laughs> what I want to ask is why you think you can steal him away from me. I'm not stealing anything. You confess to him, right? <sighs> Just as I thought. I would have never pinned you as that type. Uh... You'll lose friends stealing other people's guys. Hey, don't you think you're being a little too harsh? Sorry, but I want you to understand that I can't help but feel this way. Huh? I like you too, Akachi-kun. I thought Takajo-san was gonna steal you from me, so I got worried. What? Hanagi-san likes me? Sorry for being so forward, but you're gonna pick me, right? Pick? Of course. You have two girls who like you, right? You have to pick one of us. Certainly you're not thinking of cheating on one of us, right? No, of course not. <laughs> Good. You don't have a problem with this, right, Takajo-san? I, uh... What's wrong? Lacking confidence? Oh, you're worried about trying to steal him from me? Don't worry. I won't think less of you for doing something so sneaky like that. Um... What are you gonna do? I've come this far. I'm not backing down now. I know. I'm not worried. We're childhood friends, after all. Right. That is a strong bond, after all. So, Akachi-kun, who's it gonna be? Uh... I had to choose between my childhood friend who always stuck with me like a brother and the hottest girl in school. Should have been an easy choice for me, but my answer wouldn't come out. I know whatever I said, I wouldn't be able to take it back. But... What's wrong? Am I not good enough for you? <sighs> Kanaki-san, you're getting really close to me. I'm sorry, Akina. <gasps> I want Kanaki-san to be my girlfriend. What? I'm so happy! I must be dreaming! Why her? Sorry, but if I'm being honest, I can't help but think of you as just another one of the guys. One of the guys? Plus, I've always had a thing for Kanagi-san. I'm sorry. I knew I was just hurting Akina more, but I couldn't help but tell her my honest thoughts. Too bad, but it can't be helped. After all, you're just another one of the guys. Oh. <laughs> How does it feel to have the boy you like stolen from you right before your very eyes? Did you do this on purpose? I'll leave that to your imagination. But when you asked to talk to Akachi-kun, I couldn't help but think you were trying to foil my plans. You bitch. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh, nothing. Let's go, Ryota-kun. Yota-kun? Yeah, we're dating now after all. It's only natural to call you that, right? I want you to call me by my first name too. <sighs> I was so happy that Ken er, Fuyuka-chan was holding on to me that I didn't even notice how Akina looked. We left to go on our date. I won't lose. Not to her. As we walked away, I could feel a strange gaze from behind me. The next day... Akina, what happened to you? Yeah, seriously. What's everyone in such a fuss about? Did Akina do something stupid again? Huh? Is that Akina? A bunch of girls huddled around one seat in the middle of the classroom. In the center was a beautiful girl that I had never seen before. That's what I thought, but that seat was Akina's, and it was Akina's voice. Morning, Ryota-kun. What's wrong? Nothing. What's happened to you? What do you mean? You look completely different. Your hair and everything. I decided to try and look and act more like a girl. Does it look weird? No, it looks great. Really, it does. You look really... cute. Is it not weird for you to do this? Huh? I mean, I said that I saw you as just one of the guys, and the next day you show up like this. You said that? How dare you? I thought you were a good guy, but I guess I was wrong. That's really mean. Ugh! Hey, hey! Leave him alone! Akina? But Akina-chan... Obviously, I wasn't happy when he said he thinks of me as just one of the guys, but... But I also didn't notice these things, so I need people to point them out for me. Ryota knows this, which is why he said that to me. 
Don't be so hard on him. Well, if you say so. Yeah, even if Akechi-kun was insensitive, if you say it's fine. Her friends seemed to understand what Akina was getting at. He seemed to trust her, so I got a pass. I suppose what I did say was a bit insensitive. Akina, sorry for saying something so insensitive. Don't worry about it. If me doing this changes the way you see me, then I'm happy. Akina, but I already... What are you two doing? The teacher will be here any minute. Oh, Fuyuka-chan. Morning. Good morning, Ryota-kun. Takajo-san. Morning. You changed your hair. It looks so cute. Thanks. It looks really cute. Whew, if you had changed it a day earlier, I may have lost Ryota-kun to you. Uh, Fuyuka-chan, everyone's looking at us. So, we're going out, right? It doesn't matter if you're dating or not. You're obviously making Ryota-kun uncomfortable. Can you lay off doing that kind of stuff just to show off? Oh, sorry. Am I making you jealous? The teacher will be here any minute. You should go to your seat. <laughs> sure. Let's go, Ryota-kun. Uh... Ryota-kun? Uh, yeah, let's go. Sorry, Akina. Ryota. So, anyway, I was thinking after the school day we could... As we went back to our desk, Fuyuka-chan talked about her plans for later that day with a cute smile on her face. She seemed to not care one bit about the daggers from everyone else looking at us. Akina looked on sadly. Fuyuka-chan and I began to spend all our time at school together. Morning, afternoon, and even after school. As boyfriend and girlfriend, it was adorable for us to be spending so much time together. Yet, something felt off. Fuyuka-chan's demeanor always changed under one specific set of circumstances kept bothering me. What did you want to talk about? It had been about a month since Fuyuka-chan and I had started going out. Akina came to my room saying she wanted to talk. Just the two of us. Um, Ryota-kun? Are you really happy? Why are you asking me that? You don't seem to be. Well, I am, obviously. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, I'm going out with Kanagi-san, girl revered by all the guys as the hottest in the school. There's no way I could be unhappy getting to date a girl like that. At least, that's how it should have been. But she's... I'm sorry, Akina-san, but please don't meddle in our affairs. You're right. I'm sorry. I appreciate you worrying about me, but if you get involved, people might misunderstand. If Akina got involved, it would have caused some annoying rumors. I wanted to avoid that at all costs. I'll be going now. It's not right to Kanagi-san if I stay too long. Okay, I know you're only next door, but be careful of suspicious people. Since when do you worry about me like that? You used to tell me that I didn't need to worry about anything. That was back then. I can't say such inconsiderate things to you anymore. <laughs> Looks like you're finally learning. Don't worry. Even if someone tries something on me, I'll kick their ass. That, Akina left my room and went home. Ugh, man, I really am stupid. What was I doing? They say some things hide in plain sight. And now that I had taken a step back, I finally realized how true that was. Not to mention how stupid everything I was doing was. I knew that everything was my fault, so I had to do something about it. The next day, I called Fuyuka-chan to the roof of the school. What did you want to talk about? It must be pretty important if you called me all the way up here. Yes, it is. Well, what is it? I'm just going to be frank. I think we should break up. Huh? I realized some stuff over this past month. What you really care about is not me. It's Akina, isn't it? You only get all lovey-dovey with me when she's around. What are you talking about? That's not true at all. No, it is. And I knew it. But I didn't want to acknowledge it because I wanted to believe that you actually liked me. But I knew you had something against her. And you've just been using me to try to hurt her, haven't you? What makes you think that? I've been totally devoted to you the whole month we've been going out. She had been going on many dates with me, but her heart was never in it. I could tell it's different. The way you treat me is different from the way Akina treats me. Different from the way Takajo-san treats you, huh? Fuyuka-chan. <laughs> he suddenly burst out in laughter. I had never seen her laugh that way. It was like she was a completely different person. Wow. Boys like you really do let your imagination run wild, don't you? 
I never thought that would be the reason you saw through me. Huh? That's right. I used you. But so what? I did all that for you to cement your feelings to me. What do you have against Akina? She's not the kind of person to make enemies. If anything, I thought everyone liked her. Yeah, that's exactly why I had to do something. Huh? <laughs> Don't you know? While I'm the most popular with the boys, Takajo-san is the most popular with the girls. That's why you did all this? Not only that, of course not. The main reason that she's so popular is because she's so boyish. All of the girls love her because of that. So I had to do something about it. I had to make her think she was inferior because of how boyish she was acting. I see. So that's why you turned your attention to me. You were the perfect candidate. I could tell just by looking that she had a thing for you. Plus, I knew you didn't like her acting boyish. How could I not use that to my advantage? She fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, and everyone turned their attention towards me, the girl devoting herself to her plain, boring boyfriend. It's all thanks to you, really. Oyuka-chan gleefully laid out her entire plan to me. For whatever reason, people who make these kinds of devious plans love to blab about whatever it is they've plotted. She probably just wants to show off how smart she thinks she is. I'm glad I planned for this. Okay, now that you've accomplished what you wanted, we can break up now, right? No way! You still have some value to me. I'm not letting go of you so easily. If I let you go now, Takaja-san will become popular again, and things will just go back to how they were. But don't worry. I'll stay devoted to you just like before. It'll be a win-win for both of us. Sorry, but that's not gonna happen. I'm ending things right here and now. What do you mean? If you break up with me, I won't leak this. But if you continue to mess with Akina, I'll play this over the school's PA system. Y you were recording all this? Why? I thought you would spill the beans about your true motives. I just needed proof. This should be plenty to bring you down, don't you think? What do you know, you loser? Hand that over! Sorry, not gonna happen. Don't worry, like I said, if you stop messing with me and Akira, I won't do anything with it. You say that, but you can use that to blackmail me anytime you want. Ugh! Let go! I won't. Akira hates cowardly stuff like blackmail. Why are you talking that way about a girl you rejected? You chose me, right? So be a good boyfriend. What complaints do you have dating a girl as cute as me? You have a point, but right now, Akina looks a million times cuter than you. She's a better girl than you'll ever be. Asshole. How dare you put me below that bitch. I'm just saying, that's how I feel. Anyway, I'm keeping someone waiting. Can we hurry this up? I won't let you get away with this. With that supervillain-like line, she promised not to bother me and Akina anymore. It was hard to know if I could believe her or not, but at least for the time being, she seemed like she wouldn't do anything. She may have let her guard down around me this time, but she's a smart and cunning girl. She knows that she can't pull anything while she's at a disadvantage like this. Like that, she and I broke up. Akina. Ryota, what is it? I'm just gonna come out and say it. Akina, will you be my girlfriend? Huh? Why now? I want you as my girlfriend. B but Kanagi-san... I already ended things with her. We're through. Why? Because I love you, Akina. It was only once I spent some time apart from you that I realized that you're irreplaceable to me. So, will you give me another chance? Another chance to be true to you? Me? But I thought I was just another one of the guys. There's no guy who would look at you and think that now. And I'm happy to see that you changed yourself for me. Akina, you're the one that I want but I'm not attractive like Kanagi-san. You're way more attractive to me than she'll ever be. But... No matter how much you beat yourself up, it won't change the way I feel about you. I want you to go out with me. I'm so happy. I've always loved you. I know. I'm sorry. I made you wait so long, and I hurt you so many times. It's okay. You ended up picking me in the end. Akina came close and held me tight. 
I held her back as hard as I could. But if anyone finds out you dumped Kanagi-san for me, everyone will hate you. Should we try to hide the fact we're dating? No. I welcome any criticism. It's punishment for all the pain I caused you. I hurt Akita so much over that month, it was only fitting for the punishment to fit the crime. You really like to try to be cool in weird ways, don't you? I think? But I like that about you. You're proper in a kind of strange way. Is that a compliment? Yes. I love you, Ryota. I love you too, Akina. Like that, me and Akina started dating. We had our hard times, but now we'll be able to spend time together happily. There's always something looming in the background, but that's a story for another time. Now was the time to focus on enjoying ourselves. Apparently some students overheard me and Kanagi-san on the roof that day. Before long, the whole school knew about what kind of person she actually was. What? You got a girlfriend? Yeah! I, Kaname Hino, a loner, is lying right now to a childhood friend, Karen Konoe. How did it come to this? It all started a few hours ago. Ah, school's over! All right, Kaname, let's go karaoke. Today's karaoke day. Um, I'm gonna go home and play games. Huh? You can't listen to what I say? Karen and I are childhood friends, but our relationship isn't like what you would see in usual love comedies. Huh? All right. Do you want me to expose the story of you peeking into my shower to the class group chat then? Oh, would you look at that? I feel like singing all of a sudden. You better be glad. A cute girl like me is asking a loner like you on a date. By the way, it wasn't me who peeked into the showers. It was her who peeked into mine. Still, I couldn't help it since she took a picture that looks like the former. Her pranks are an everyday occurrence. We're next door neighbors and we've known each other since we were kids. But it seems like our hierarchy had been set the day we were born. You're the prince and I'm the princess. Uh, I want to play games. You're the horse if you keep saying that. Remember, I didn't tell anybody that you ate the snack secretly. <laughs> if little me heard how I haven't moved up the ranks from being her horse up to this day, he'd be devastated. Since Karen's smart, I thought I'd be able to get away from her after middle school. But for some reason, we're in the same high school. She's mixed race and has pretty looks, but her personality is like I mentioned. La la la. You want me, I want you, baby. Hey, cheer me on! K Karen, you're amazing! The cutest in the world! Uh, I just wanted to play games. What you said just now was good. Let me hear it one more time. Huh? Oh, the cute chant? All right, I'll put it in my list of chants. You keep a list of chants, whatever. Listen while I sing again. Keep the chants going, too. She began singing. I'm getting tired of it as Karen only sings love songs. But I make sure not to forget the chants. Ah, uh, I missed today's daily quest. Karen's karaoke took so much time. I want to make room for my own time, but she makes me do everything with her. Maybe I can find something on her phone or computer. And then, my favorite character peered on my phone and smiled at me. Good work today. It's been one year since we started dating. Thanks for being there for me. Do I take up too much of your time? I hope not, but I'm really happy regardless. Huh? What did she just say? Do I take up too much of your time? Ah, that's it! Yes! I just have to pretend like I have a girlfriend. Then I can tell her I need to hang out with my girlfriend instead. Plus, that can make her change her attitude towards me. Two birds, one stone! I need to tell her on the chat. Click, 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 click. Send! Wait a second. Will she even believe this in the first place? It's Karen. No way. You got a girlfriend? Then send me a picture! If she says something like that, I'm screwed. If anything, what a blatant lie. I'm gonna tell everyone! People are gonna laugh at me just like that. Uh, life isn't that easy. True? What? Oh, it's you, Karen. Welcome. Sorry to disturb you. No! Uh, hey, is this true? Huh? Is what? Y you got a girlfriend. Is that true? 
I want to spend more time with her from now on. What? She actually believed it? Or no, is this some sort of reverse prank? I can't tell, but I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, I love her and we're together. So I don't think I could spend as much time with you. Uh, I see, okay. Well, you're a good guy, so I knew you'd get a girlfriend easily, but... Really? I don't even have one in the first place. Did you know? People like the head of student council or that pretty girl in the grade below were all interested in you. Have some confidence. People with good taste will all fall for you. Are you serious? That's the first time I've ever heard that. You've always been so oblivious. Ugh, it's not even funny. You're kidding. I had people like the head student council or the pretty girl in the grade below fall for me? Now that I think about it, I did help those two out when they were in trouble before. No way. Even a guy like me had chances like that? What are you blabbering about? Huh? What? Uh, nothing. So, who is it? Huh? Uh, what are you talking about? What? You got a girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, my girlfriend. Oh my god, this reaction must mean she believes it. I can't tell her that it was a lie after all this. Uh, um, we met a year ago on the internet. She has pigtails and has a pretty strong personality. Despite that, she always gives me a warm welcome whenever I come home and smiles at me greatly. She's a hot, cold type. We're about the same age and she comes from a different wor- I mean high school. A warm welcome? What's that mean? You guys are already living together? Ah, yeah, something like that. I can't tell her she lives inside my phone. She sounds kind of similar to me. What was wrong with me? I'm joking. You think? <laughs> I can only give a dry laugh. You're not the hot, cold type, are you, Karen? You're the cold, cold, cold type, is what I thought. But now that I think about it, they are kind of similar. Well, whatever. So was a girl you met online. I had no idea. I thought if I guarded you during high school, it would be all right. Guard? Well, whatever. What's done is done. You gave me enough of an answer when you confessed that to me. What does she mean? Well, if that's the case, I'm going to be even busier. What's she on about? We're childhood friends, you know. That means I have the right to be your producer. Producer? It's your first girlfriend, right? The way you dress, your hair, where to go on dates, how to converse. You have so much to learn. No, 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 it's fine. As long as I get to play games, I'll be all right. Dates are kind of like a game too. What? A guy that plays games during a date will be rejected in an instant. I'll train you hard, so you better be thankful. What? And so my life was about to take an unbelievable turn. What are we doing here? First, I'll lecture you tips on how to eat food together. I have to practice how I eat with my girlfriend with you? Y yeah, you got a problem? No, not really, but is this really necessary? That's something I can't say out loud. Okay, here's a lunchbox, so let's begin. Where did you get this? Huh? Of course I made it myself. You're joking. How rude! Why would I be joking? I mean, the detail on the sausage or the rice balls made into little bears. There's a cute skewer through the tomato and even a star-shaped potato. Karen knows how to do all this? What are you talking about? I can do this much if I try. And why didn't you? You always made me do it. It takes too much effort? There's a lot of effort for me, too. Be quiet. I wanted you to do it. Huh? What? Nothing. Lunch break's almost over, so let's not waste any more time. Ever since the thing with the fake girlfriend, Karen's attitude seemed a bit strange. But I can't tell her the truth at this point, so I need to go along. Ah... Uh... Huh? What are you doing? Thought you were going to feed me. Obviously, it's the other way around. What? You serious? I want you to. Ah. This is ridiculous. Hurry up. This is ridiculous. How is it? I made it, so of course it's delicious. I see. <laughs> Here, feed me the next one, too. Huh? Isn't that enough? Hurry up. What is this practice? And so, all through lunch, I continued to feed her in the mouth. I couldn't have a single bite. You don't have money, do you? 
That's a rude way to put it. Although she's right. My allowance always gets used up when I'm with Karen. Hmm. This might be pretty reasonable for you. Um, I don't think I look good in cool clothes like this. I'm a nerdy loner for crying out loud. You just don't realize your true potential. Well, it's all thanks to my hard work, of course. What do you mean? Why does my potential and your hard work have anything to do with each other? See? Looking good. I can't tell myself, but if you say so, you probably know more about me than I do. St Stutter, y you're supposed to say things like that to your girlfriend, stupid. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'll buy this for you then. Huh? No, it's fine. I feel bad. Who knows what she'll make me do to repay her. Just take it as a present. I make my own money anyways. Speaking of which, Karen models for magazines and flyers. Looking at her like this, Karen is quite the high-level girl. It's almost funny how she hangs out with a loner like me. I always hang out with her reluctantly, but maybe I should be grateful that she even talks to me. Although we're childhood friends, she's a girl with very high specs. Huh? What are you looking at? Um, I wasn't looking. That's a lie. It's too late to realize my charm. You better take good care of your girlfriend. Um, yes. After that, Karen took me to the barber and even got me contact lenses so I could get rid of my glasses. She paid for all of it every single time and took a lot of care and attention just for me. I wonder why. I had the impression that my childhood friend, who up until now had been causing me endless fear and pain, was suddenly transformed into something else. I feel like a completely different person. See, this is my proud childhood friend. Huh? Proud? Uh, um, um, no, I never said that. And so my makeover was complete. The next day, as Karen instructed, I went to school with gelled hair and kept the glasses off. But you look at that. What? what? Who's that Who's guy, that next, guy to her? next to her? He's so hot. Are, Are you serious? serious? Is that, is that Kaname? Kaname? Everyone around me made a fuss. My seat, which usually stays quiet, is attracting a lot of attention for some reason. It was after school and I was still the center of attention. I think I understand how pandas feel at the zoo. You had really high potential and I'm the one that helped you reach it. You better be grateful. Thanks? But why do all this? I wonder what kind of connection there is between me getting a girlfriend and my potential or whatever. Huh? What? Of course it does. How? Because it would bother me if my childhood friend got rejected. No, I still don't understand. Shut up! Karen tried to hit me on the shoulder and raised her hand. But the hand she raised slowly went down. Sorry, I won't do that anymore. She's saying something commendable for once. Is something wrong? Not really. Anyways, tomorrow's a holiday, so it's a day off. Yeah, do you have any plans? No. But I'll make one right now. Meet at 10 in front of the station. She left the room as she said that. Ah, uh, hey, Karen! I tried to run after her, but was surrounded by the girls in my class. H hey, Kaname, want to exchange contacts? Hey, Kaname, can I as well? Um, uh, wait! As a loner, I didn't have the skill to ignore them and couldn't chase after Karen. It was the next morning. I sent her a message after that, but was ignored. Then, out of the blue, I get an order from her saying, Tomorrow's a rehearsal for your date. You better be ready for it. I've been out of tune lately. Karen's attitude is all over the place. Although it's my own fault, I never thought it would come this far. As I arrived inside the station, there seemed to be a crowd. Seems like everyone was getting excited over Karen. You're like a doll. I wonder if she's waiting for her guy. Let's see how good looking he is. Uh, she's so cute, it's making me lose confidence. That's right. She's pretty amazing. I caught myself thinking that in my head. Why am I starting to feel proud of her? Hey, Kaname, over here. Oh, oh! All the looks given to Karen were now facing me. I approached her regardless. I've never seen Karen wear such a cute outfit. It caught me by surprise. So, you made your girlfriend wait. That's minus five points. Huh? That's a thing? Of course. I know you don't have the skills for a date. I'm here to raise it to the limit today. 
Are you serious? And I wonder why. I didn't feel as uncomfortable with such reckless demands as I did before. Ah, uh, you didn't show interest in the stuffed animal when I said, isn't it cute? Minus five points. Because it's so ugly. Ah, no sympathy for your girlfriend's interest. Minus 10 points. This is too hard. Is this what having a girlfriend is really like? I'd rather be teased by Karen. After that, we went to numerous date spots. This time I paid for it all, of course. It was quite expensive, but Karen seemed to be enjoying it, so I guess it's okay. And at one of the stores, I got to see Karen panic when someone pointed out how we were a nice looking couple. What are you laughing at? Jeez. She was angry, but even then, it didn't bother me at all. All right, this is it for today. Come here, we're taking a photo. We have to be pretty close or else we won't be able to see the background. Then we just have to be close. Uh, okay. Is she really okay with closing our bodies and facing together? I did as she pleased, but this was as if we were an actual couple. Hey, did you know? When you take a picture here, if the girlfriend kisses the boyfriend on the cheek, they'll be able to stay together forever. Huh? Wanna try? Let me give you a kiss. What? I moved my body away from her in panic. Karen looked at me in shock. Um, no, sorry. That was nothing. Th that was a lie. Karen was getting nervous. Seeing her like that, there was a part of me that thought she was cute. No, that's a real lie. I'm sorry. I'm done. Karen? I can't lie to myself anymore. Up until now, to make sure no other girls would come after you, I stayed by your side while tricking myself. I never would have thought you would get her girlfriend, so I started getting really confused. I just stood there in a daze listening to her talk. I was able to understand. Does that mean, is she basically saying I like you in a roundabout way? Otherwise she wouldn't say any of that, right? I'm sorry, Kaname. I'll stop the act. So please, just for today. Karen! Huh? Hey, she makes when she's surprised. She is cute after all. I just remembered. I actually liked her from a while back. Even though I was always reluctant, I stayed by her side. I'm sorry, Karen. I don't actually have a girlfriend. What? All I wanted to do was to play games, but since I always had to hang out with you, I thought of this lie. But I didn't think you would actually believe me. Because who would think there would be anyone that would believe such a ridiculous story? What did you just say? What? Uh, I just started realizing how cute you are, and... Y you idiot! Um, Karen-san? Are you angry by any chance? And where is that fish you're raising going? Stupid Kaname! The cleanest right of the year connected with my side. Don't wake up! Stupid Kaname! Stupid Kaname! I'm going home! Uh... Uh... I actually can't stand up. Although it's my fault, how did it come to this? And just like that, my acting days were over. Next morning, I went in front of Karen's door with my usual hair and glasses. Last night, I received a terrifying message. You're holding my baggage for a week from tomorrow. It wasn't a request, it was an order. How terrifying. <laughs> if you want me to forgive you, you better keep walking. I am walking. She's so pissed. If something goes wrong, I'm exposing this. What is that? Karen took out her phone and played a video. It was from that last date spot with a nice view. It was taken by chance. It was me in the video. But I just started realizing how cute you are and... Oh, God. Oh, how embarrassing. It's your confession. That's hilarious. Jeez, who would have thought that would be caught on video? Oh well, just go with it. Yeah, you're right. I just remembered how cute you are. Pretty go, Karen. You're amazing. If anything, I want you to cosplay with the same outfit as my favorite character. Here, go ahead and hit me, Karen. Why don't you give your fist a furious shot and hit the stupid childhood friend? S stop talking nonsense! Huh? I'm not even familiar with cosplays, but I can if you really want me to. What's it look like? Does the character look like me? What? What's going on here? Hey, 
Hey, don't make me talk about this here. We're gonna be late, come on. As Karen said that, she took off with her face blushing. The one who was always by my side. I couldn't realize the feelings I had, maybe because it was so obvious. Who would have thought that I would come to realize it, though it was my idea to lie? As long as the results come out good, I guess I'll take it. I hope one day I can share my true feelings for her. As I thought that, I rushed over to follow Karen. I've liked you ever since that day. Please go out with me. I, Kazuya Amuro, was suddenly called to the rooftop and was asked out for the first time in my life. Um, but yeah, I completely can't make out this situation. Um, you like me? Yes, I've liked you ever since you saved me that day. <sighs> this girl, she's the daughter of one of the bigwigs and is known as the prettiest girl in school. I think her name was Himeka Tenjoin. When did I even save her? I barely even talked to her. And since she's the daughter of such important people, I'd be seen as a nuisance in her eyes. So it wouldn't be abnormal if she rejected me. Sorry, but no. A pretty girl like you would be wasted on a guy like me. I'm so pretty it'd be a waste? That... that makes me so happy to be complimented like that. Hmm? It seems you like me as well, and I can't think of another suitor other than yourself. So could you please just go out with me? No, wait. That's a bit strange. I'll have to inform my father at once. Inform her dad? Amuroku? No, Kazuya-kun. I'll be in your care from here on. I would like to be in your company for longer, but I'm being waited on at home, so you'll have to excuse me. Wait, listen to me! I called out for her to stop, but she briskly ran away. She seemed like she was really in a rush. No, wait a minute. Hey, hey, what the heck? Am I dating her now? Plus, she's going to tell her dad. Dang it, this is too troublesome. A rumor I hear quite often is that Himeka is stupid rich and lives a sheltered life. I don't get why an ordinary high schooler like me is involved, but based off the rumor, Himeka is very precious to her dad. Any ordinary dad with a daughter like her would be in a fit of rage if he found out she got a boyfriend. He would at least try to see what kind of guy he is with his own eyes. For someone like me, who's kept their distance from other people, there's nothing more troublesome. Alright, what should I do? With that troublesome feeling, I left the rooftop with my head in my hands. The next morning... Kazuya-kun! Kazuya-kun! It's morning, wake up please! Mm. Morning? You overslept. How cute! Uh, <gasps> Why are you here, Tenjoin? Tenjoin makes it sound like we're strangers. Call me Himika, please. No, why are you here? Isn't this my room? I wanted to accompany you on our walk to school, so I came to get you. So once I relayed that to your mother, she happily let me in. Mom? Seriously, why'd she just let you in here without my permission? Well, it's a rare opportunity, and I can help you get changed if you'd like. What's a rare opportunity? It's a no-brainer that it's a no! But girlfriends are supposed to serve their boyfriends. Where'd you learn that? From a girl's manga. Don't believe everything you read in manga. Plus, there's no girl's manga where the guy makes the girl dress him. So, is it a no, then? Ugh, yes. I don't have the heart to make you dress me. I see. Uh, she looks down on the dumps. By the way, didn't you say yesterday you had something to tell your dad? Yes, my father was quite pleased. Ah, so you did talk to him after all. This girl's fast, isn't she? Oh well, yesterday she had that look like she was ready to spill the beans immediately. What a drag. You said your dad was happy. But did he say anything else? Huh? Oh, he said I'm welcome to bring you to our home. <sighs> he also said if you are up for it, he would like to have a conversation with you. Yep, I'm sure he'd love to talk with me. Even if I tell him she has the wrong idea, he's just gonna get mad at me. Don't worry, my father can be a bit strict. But once he sees how serious you are, I think he will understand. No, the premise is wrong to begin with. Huh? No, it's nothing. I need to get ready. 
Yes, you are correct. If you wait any longer, you shall be late for school. Ugh. What shall you do? Um, I'm gonna get dressed now. Yes, I understand. Yes? Were you planning on watching me? For future reference, of course. Ugh! <gasps> Kazuya-kun, how bold! Just wait in the living room for the time being. Oh, how terrible! After I half forced her out of my room, he make us sounded dissatisfied, but I believe my actions were correct. After that, my mom and Tenjoin were staring at me while I ate breakfast. I get that Tenjoin is smiling because she thinks she's got a boyfriend, but my mom's smirk is honestly irritating me. And to the utmost extremes. Is it really all that bad to go to school together with such a cute and lovely girl? It seemed as if she was scoffing at my inner thoughts. It truly made my head hurt. Eh, you're not going to get in the car? I can just walk. There's no need to ride in the car. Plus, it draws too much attention. You get in the car and go on ahead. Then I shall walk as well. No, go ahead and get in. Your driver's already here. I would like to walk with you to school. Plus, it would bring me delight to be able to walk next to you. Wouldn't it be dangerous for a lady like you to walk? You might be taken away. If you are by my side, then I think it would be quite all right. <sighs> Is that a no? Fine. Really? Thank you so much! Please, wait a moment. Fine. Tenjoin told her driver it was all right to leave and came back to me with a smile on her face. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm just happy I get to walk with you. Tenjoin, you're such an oddball. I'd be happy if you called me Himika. Plus, I'm perfectly normal. Uh, I don't think so. There's no one at school who'd ever think of being friends with me, yet here you are, Tenjoin. Himika? Himika. <gasps> yes! Wow, what a reaction! Just like a dog! But back to what we were talking about before. I know just how wonderful you are, Kazuya. So because I know just how wonderful you are, this is my normal response. Did you hit your head or something? So mean. I didn't. There's no way you'd view me that way if you didn't hit your head. Seriously, Tenjo... Ahimika is a strange one. Hey! Tenjoin san is walking with Amuro-kun! Why is Tenjoin san with a downer like him? Is she being forced to walk with him? <sighs> There's no need to worry. About what? I think it's absolutely foolish to trust in rumors without getting to know the person. Everyone is saying these things because they don't know anything about you. So there's no reason to listen to the words of those who do not plan on understanding you. To put it plainly, I was shocked. I thought Himeka was pretty airheaded, but apparently she's pretty solid to the core. I guess this is one of her charm points. I'm not particularly worried about it. I know what people say about me. I don't think it's good to reject those who misunderstand you, Kazuya-kun. Did you perhaps go digging into my past? N no I'd never do such a thing. This girl couldn't lie if her life depended on it. Well, at any rate, I don't think you should stick around me. You'll get a bunch of strange rumors. I refuse. I'm your girlfriend, after all. G girlfriend You're joking! Did Tenjo and San just say she's Amuro Kun's girlfriend? The situation got complicated again. I didn't agree to go out with you in the first place. Ah, were you perhaps concealing the fact that we were dating? My apologies, I wasn't paying attention. Why does this girl think I like her? First of all, we need to clear up this misunderstanding. I had such strong feelings for you that I made you date me and got carried away. <sighs> ah, whatever. We've gotten this far. If we try to clear up any misunderstandings now, it'll just make other things complicated. And if I say we aren't dating now, he'll just hurt her feelings. From then on, Himeka came over every day to wake me up and make me eat breakfast. She tried to be involved in everything. Seemed like she really enjoyed being so devoted to me. Thanks to that, my mom already accepted Himeka as the princess of the house. You came even though it's our day off? Precisely because it's our day off, I came. 
we can spend more time together. Doesn't your dad get angry with you coming over to my house almost every day? He thinks that it's obvious an engaged couple would live together, so he is happy. So he told me to hurry and bring you to our house. Seems like I cleared that hurdle. When did we get engaged? If we date, there is a premise of marriage, no? Did you learn that from a girl's manga too? Yes. This girl is too honest. I don't think there's a girl's manga out there like that. But I wonder what other books she reads and takes at face value like that. Um, well, is it alright if I sit next to you? Uh, yeah. It's alright. Thank you very much. Spending time with you makes me the happiest. What do I do? She's cute, but that's an exaggeration. It is not an exaggeration. Spending time with you makes me quite happy. I see. Hey, Himika? Yes? Why do you like me so much? Haven't I told you before? It was because you saved me. Sorry, but I honestly don't remember saving you. Goodness, you've forgotten? Even though you embraced me so tightly. Embraced you? Yes! This was our first year of high school. Hey, Missy. You out here all by yourself? And who are you? What? We're just some regular guys. More importantly, where are you headed? I'm returning home. Then let us take you home. Yeah? Yeah. This is quite the pickle. I'm surrounded. Hey! Huh? Just how many women have you guys bothered? Uh, Amuro-kun. Yikes! It's Amuro! Whoa, Amuro-kun, calm down! We didn't know she was your girl! Didn't I tell you punks to stop harassing girls? Are you still out here doing the same thing? No, we aren't! So you were just inviting her out for tea, huh? Get lost! Otherwise I'll put you in the same situation as last time! G got it Jeez, those jerks never learn. Uh, Amuro-kun, thank you very much. Oh, so you know my name. You're cute, so you should be careful about walking in the streets at night alone. Wait, does that mean Amuro-kun likes me? Anyway, I'll walk you to a safer place. You should stop walking through secluded areas. Y yes What happened? Why does your voice sound weird? It it's nothing. And that's the story. Now that I think about it, that did happen, huh? So that was Tenjoi. I had just entered high school and stopped interacting with people, so I didn't realize. So this misunderstanding is all on me, isn't it? Why are you holding your hands in your head? Don't worry about it. Just a bit of self-loathing. I'd rather be concerned about it. I thought you were quite the honest person. And you looked very cool fending off those scary boys. Yeah, please quit talking about it. It's making my head hurt. How come? At that time, it really annoyed me how those jerks didn't listen to my warning the first time and tried to hit on you. So I said something about it. But it's embarrassing that I said that to someone I know. I thought she just knew my name from the rumors. If your head hurts, would you like for me to massage it? I'll pass. Huh. Why are you pouting? Because you keep pushing me away. I'm talking with you, aren't I? That's not what I mean. I don't really get it, but if I do this, will you feel better? <gasps> You're rubbing my head. Kazuya-kun, sometimes you are really quite bold. Sorry, should I stop? It's bad if you stop. Please continue. I don't think you have any room to be calling someone bold. Well, we are engaged. It's okay if we do things like this. Ah, uh, it's not just her father. Himeka also feels in her heart that we are engaged. She really gets wrapped up in her thoughts. I don't think you'd be swayed by me saving you all the way up to now. There were other instances. I just told you the biggest one. There were other times where I saw your true nature and saw just how kind you are. I inevitably came to like you. Uh, what do you mean? Like the time when you tried to find homes for stray kittens and puppies. Or when you helped that lost child look for his parents. Oh, and when you saved that dog from drowning in the river. Hey, Himika, are you a stalker? Th that's not it. 
I just wanted to know more about you so I would watch you from behind. But most of that stuff happened outside of school or on our days off. K kazuya kun but boys should not be so worried about the little details. Yep, without a doubt, this girl was a stalker. Y you don't believe me, do you? I'm telling the truth. Hmm. I really am. Come on, stop bullying me about it. <laughs> Kazuya kun? Sorry, my bad. It was just funny. Just as you thought, I separated myself from everyone at school and liked being alone. It was easy that way. But that was because in middle school you punished delinquents who bullied other students at your school. And even though you were trying to stop the delinquents at our school, people misunderstood your actions and spread such bad rumors about you. The facts don't matter. It was too troublesome to make the effort to stop the rumors anyway. But Himika, you decided to come talk to me, and spending time with you was strangely nice. So is that why you like me? That's not it. I'm just saying this now, but me liking you was your misunderstanding. What? what That's... But that's in the past. Huh? But now I like you, Himika. That's why I want to properly ask you out. Himika, will you go out with me? To be honest... I was having my own thoughts on the matter, but now if you're willing to be my boyfriend, I have no problems with it. I'll gladly accept you as my boyfriend. And so, Himika said yes to being my girlfriend. Be that as it may, you sure are unfair, Kazuya-kun. Unfair? Because you confessed to me knowing how much I liked you, and you knew I wouldn't say no. Not at all. To be honest, I didn't have much confidence since I was telling you my true feelings. Is that so? Well, it seems I need to let you know how much I like you. Just what in the world are you thinking? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Himeka laughed. Having a girlfriend seemed like fun, so I had no rejections. From the result of that, her affection for me grew tenfold. But that's another story. Now I'm charmed by my girlfriend's happy smile. Morning of the school trip. Onoda! I've been waiting for you, you know? Why are you here, Misaka? Why? Because I'm the class president, so I elected to stay behind. Well, let's get going then. Um, get going to where? We're going on the school trip, of course. That's how we ended up on this trip together. With just the two of us. I should probably explain how we got to this point. I always get nervous the day before these school trips. Gotta remember to turn off the appliances in the house before I leave. On the night before the trip, I, Makoto Onoda, was so nervous that I couldn't manage to sleep. So I spent that night reading a new light novel I just got. And I finally woke up the next morning after I got a phone call. Onoda! Hey! Where are you right now? Uh, uh, good morning, Misaka. The girl with that piercing voice is Sumire Misaka. She's the student president of my class. Don't oh, good morning, me! Do you know what time it is right now? It's, uh, 8... 8.30 a.m.? That means it's already past the meetup time! Oh no, what should I do? Misaka handed the phone to our teacher, but... I'm sorry, Onoda. We can't wait any longer since we already reserved seats for the train. No way! If you can't make it, you're going to have to meet us on location. We'll give you ten minutes, but after that, you're going to have to get there on your own, okay? All right, I'll be heading there right now! So I got ready in a rush and headed down to the school. And yeah, I didn't make it. But Misaka was sitting there, waiting for me. Wait, why are you here, Misaka? I was worried you might not be able to make it there on your own. So I told the teacher I'd go along with you. I think I would have been fine going by myself. But didn't you get lost during a school trip in middle school? That's what I heard anyways. Um, how did you even know that? Because I'm the class president. I know everything, you know? That's kind of scary. Is my personal information that easy to get a hold of? Sorry for the fuss and making you stay behind. You did get permission from the teacher though, right? Of course. I'm a really trustworthy student, you know? As you can see, 
She's very dependable and responsible. All the teachers really trust her. She also goes out of her way to treat me like a friend, even though I'm kind of a loner in class. I think she's really kind-hearted. Okay, we should hurry and head out. Bus already left, right? So I guess we have to walk to the station? No need. I already called a taxi. It should be arriving sometime soon. She's already prepared and one step ahead. So reliable. I really should learn a thing or two from her. We made it onto the train and started heading to the destination of the trip. We're only two trains behind the one everyone else took, so we should be able to meet up once we get there. Whew. I'm glad we're not way behind then. Seriously though, Onoda. Sleeping in on the day of the trip? Didn't your parents try to wake you? Ah, uh, well, my family situation is kind of complicated, so I'm living alone right now. Really? But don't you always bring a packed lunch every day? I just throw it together by myself, actually. Mostly to save money. Huh. He seems kind of dozy all the time, but I guess he's more practical than I thought. Or maybe not. I don't know. He literally ended up sleeping in today. As we were speaking, the train suddenly stopped. Yeah! Are you okay? Yeah. I wonder what happened. Attention all passengers. The train in front of us is having some technical difficulties. We'll be taking a temporary stop until the issue resolves. Oh no. I wonder how long it's going to take to get running again. I don't know, but I'll go ahead and contact the teacher about this. In the end, the train was stopped for at least 30 minutes. The train carrying the rest of the class kept going on without us though, so we were really behind now. We're finally here, but I wonder where everyone else is right now. According to the schedule, they should be at the second destination right now. Should we start heading there then? If we do that, we might end up missing each other. Let's head to the last destination instead. They're bound to end up there eventually. Hmm, that feels kind of odd, to be honest. Not really sure why, though. We managed to get to today's last destination, the local amusement park. But we still have to wait around for two hours until everyone should arrive. So we decided that we'd take some time to enjoy the park while we wait. J just so we're clear, we're not going to be playing around. The whole point of a school trip is about interactive learning, you know? So uptight. But I'm willing to bet Misaka just wants to have fun, too. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you nervous? N no! Why would I be nervous? Come on, let's do some learning. Now that I think about it, we're kind of alone together. Kind of like a... A date. Wait, no! This isn't anything like that! Oh no, she seems mad. Maybe I was being too intrusive? I should be more careful. Are there any rides you want to try? I can probably show you around. Wait, Onoda, you've been here before? A few times, yeah. I'm a little familiar with the layout of this place. That's how I ended up showing Misaka around all the rides. Here, hold my hand. What? It's going to be a bit shaky, so better to be safe. Oh, um, okay. Be careful on your way up. Yeah! Oh gosh, I screamed too much. I'm so hungry now. Yeah, can I treat you to a meal then? I want to make up for earlier this morning. You don't need to do that. We should just split the bill for going to eat. I was the one who decided to stay behind and wait for you anyways. Oh, okay. In that case, want to go to that store over there? The moment we enter the store... CONGRATULATIONS! Everyone, please give a warm welcome to our lucky 100,000th couple! We were met with a huge welcome, under a huge misunderstanding. Excuse me, we're not a couple or anything like that! Y yeah we're just classmates! Oh, you're not a couple? See? This is what happens when you don't ask beforehand! It's all because you say they seem like a couple, boss! You should have stopped me then! Whatever, you're fired! I'm firing you! Oh yeah? Well I'm going to quit this place before you can file me! Wow. They're talking about such dull things in a place that should be all about dreams and wonders. I guess I'll just go along with it so they stop. Sorry, we actually are a couple! Huh? What are you saying, Onoda? See, I was just too embarrassed to admit it before, so could you two please unhand each other? Great, so you guys are a couple! In that case, 
Let's give a lovely welcome to our 100,000th couple! Thankfully, they were both really easy to convince. Wait, is Misaka angry? Is it because I said we're a couple and she didn't like that? Sorry, Misaka. I kind of just... No, I fully understand you said that to stop the fight, but... Huh? Then why are you so angry? I'm not angry at all. I'm just embarrassed. Oh no. Your reaction is too adorable. Alright, we'd like to take a celebratory photo of you two lovebirds. So please partake in our special lovey-dovey couples only drink together. Seriously? Well, I'm really tired out now. Right, that was kind of a draining experience. It's almost time to meet up with everyone though. I think the spot was around the gate? Yes, let's head down there. We waited near the meeting spot for a while, but even after an hour, no one showed up. It's no problem if they're a bit behind schedule, but Misaka was getting worried, so she called the teacher. What? I wonder what's wrong. No, no way. You alright? What happened? It turns out the meeting spot was wrong. Or more so, we're a day ahead. Huh? What do you mean? So, um... It looks like I was looking at the schedule for the second day all along! We were actually supposed to come here tomorrow! Oh... Wait, what?! I'm so sorry. It looks like I stapled the schedule page backwards. Uh, no! It's fine! Don't worry about it! <laughs> so that weird feeling I had earlier... This must have been why. In the end, we headed to the hotel on our teacher's direction. Ugh, how could I have not noticed? I'm such a failure as a class president. I've never seen her this down before. But maybe... There's still time until we have to meet up at the hotel, right? Why don't we keep wandering around a bit? Huh? Look! There's still some places we haven't tried out yet. Uh, wait! I took her by the hand and headed to the rides. With a little time, Misaka seemed to recover her mood, and the dark expression she had seemed to have faded away by the time we needed to leave. However, though we arrived at the hotel in the evening... The bookings were cancelled? Why? What happened? We're deeply sorry about the inconvenience, but there was a small fire that happened about an hour ago. As we were on our way to the hotel, it turns out there was a fire scare from one of the hotel rooms. So for the sake of safety, all bookings had to be cancelled. Is that you, Misaka? You might have heard already, but we can't use that hotel anymore. Sorry. I'm kind of in the middle of sending out the students to new lodgings in the area. Then what should we do? Can you try asking the hotel staff if they know of another place nearby you can stay at? Oh, okay. We'll see if we can find a place nearby with two open rooms. Thank you very much. With all of these problems cropping up at once, I'm starting to wonder if this school trip might be cursed. As I was thinking that, the hotel staff informed us that there were two openings nearby. This is it? Looks like it. It was an old-looking hotel. Not just a little old, but really ancient-looking. The whole atmosphere of the building was extremely off-putting. Were there really no other options? Haha, <laughs> wow. This place feels kind of haunted, huh? Stop! Don't say scary things like that! She doesn't seem too good at handling scary things. Personally, I don't really mind this stuff. We were able to check into our rooms. Which were, of course, both separate. But... Our rooms were right next to each other. I thought our day's troubles were all over now that we had a place to sleep, but... HELP! What's wrong, Misaka? I looked into the closet, and it was full of creepy paper seals! Okay, we can switch then. I'll stay in that room. No! Don't leave me all alone! I've never been able to stand spooky stuff! But have you ever considered that ghosts could be, like... Floaty little friends with little presents? Any presents is too much! I don't know. I think I could be friends with them. But maybe that's because I'm kind of unremarkable and lonely? With all that, we ended up deciding to stay in a single room together. Well, um, you can use the shower first. Sh sure I'll go ahead. I can't believe my grade's most popular girl is taking a shower in the same room as me! This is the stuff that fuels rumors when it gets out. Is Misaka really okay with it? Wow, I'm... 
really about to stay in the same room with the boy in my class. But it's not like we had a choice, right? There could be ghosts. But if people found out about this, is Onota really okay with it? She came out of the shower while I was fiddling with my smartphone. Wearing gym clothes over her freshly washed skin, I couldn't help but be a little excited. I'm going to take a bath next. Oh, okay. Have fun. After I finished my bath, the two of us played cards for a while to kill the time. If I didn't do something to keep my mind occupied, I feel like I might lose my mind. Eventually, though, I stopped being bothered by it, and we simply enjoyed playing cards. Yes, I win again! You're so good at this! As expected of our class president, I praised her periodically like this. It feels like I'm just trying to get on her good side, but she's been through a lot lately, and I'm sure she's tired. So I thought it would be nice if I could at least cheer her up a little. It's getting kind of late. Should we go to sleep? Oh, okay. Okay, in that case, can I just get a blanket? What are you going to do? I'm sleeping on the floor. You can go sleep on the bed, Misaka. You can't do that! You'll catch a cold if you sleep on the floor! No, but I can't let a girl sleep on the floor. Well then, how about this? Five minutes later... Um, Misaka-san? Isn't this a bad idea? Even if we're just back to back? This isn't a bad thing, is it? It... It is pretty bad. A boy and girl our age sleeping in the same bed? That's pretty suspect. Don't worry about it. Let's just get to sleeping already. But I couldn't get to sleep. And by the time an hour had passed since I got into bed... Hey, Onoda-kun. Are you already asleep? No. I'm still awake. Well, I'm really sorry about everything today. No, I'm sorry too. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? I just didn't expect the school trip to be like this, so it's kind of funny. Sleeping in, delays, misunderstandings, and now, how many troubles have there been in one day? My heart was probably beating the hardest of my life so far, wasn't it? It's kind of funny looking back on the day. <laughs> You're right. Today might be a day I'll never forget. But I'm glad I was with you, Misaka. I wouldn't have been able to have such a fun time if I was alone. Eh? I think this day is going to be an unforgettable memory for me, too. Same. I'm glad you were with me. When I woke up in the morning, I saw that she'd fallen asleep, hugging me from behind. But I didn't tell her about this. I figured she had her own pride. On that day, we naturally ended up having to go back to the amusement park where we had gone yesterday. However, I heard that Misaka encountered a little trouble there. Hey, isn't that you and that loner kid? Uh, no! This isn't what you're thinking! Apparently, the photo taken yesterday to commemorate the 100,000th couple was displayed in that store! As for me... Hey, Onoda! Did something happen between you and Misaka yesterday? Nope, nothing happened. <laughs> we decided to keep yesterday's incident a secret for both of us. Though I heard Misaka had quite a time trying to explain the photo. After we finished playing at the amusement park, we all went to the hotel for the second day. While the guys from the sports club were being rowdy, I got under the covers, looked up at the ceiling, and thought about Misaka. I'm sure these feelings for her are... No. I'll keep what happened yesterday to myself. Meanwhile, Misaka was being accosted by the girls for gossip. Hey, hey! Do you like that lonely kid? You spent the whole first day alone with him, didn't you? You're always taking care of him, right? You never go near other guys. It's not like that! I'm just a little worried about him as class president, that's it! Ugh, why do I sound like I'm making excuses? Because of what everyone keeps saying, I keep thinking about him even more. The next morning, we were given an hour of free time at the last tourist spot. I was out alone picking out souvenirs for my parents, who live far away from me. Oh, Onoda-kun, are you going around by yourself? Uh, yeah. Then, maybe I should go around with you. Um, Misaka, where are your friends? I just don't want to leave you alone, since I'm class president. S so let's go! Oh, um, yeah. In the end, we spent the last hour together, just like the day before yesterday. 
but I had no idea that this would become an unforgettable time for me. Yes. I had no way of knowing at that time. Haruka and Namiki, will you please be my boyfriend for one week? During lunch break, a pretty dark-haired girl suddenly came over to me and said something outrageous. What? It's a favor. Favor? You would do anything for money, right? I will give you 100,000 yen, so please be my boyfriend for one week. Although this girl comes from a very privileged background, this is too naive of her. In front of me is a pretty girl named Chihiro Aikawa, known for coming from a very wealthy family. I've known her since my first year, and we were in the same class, so I know how out of touch she is with the real world. No. What? Well, please, wait a second! Nope. Wait, how come? Should just think about it. Why would I agree to that? But, but I heard you take care of anything for money. You're right. I get commission from clients. However, that's just to make some money on the side for odd jobs. I have no intention in getting involved in something so shady as getting paid 100,000 yen per week. How about 10,000 yen? No, there's no point in lowering it because you already mentioned 100,000 in the beginning. You said that because you thought it was worth that much to you, right? Um... Also, when a rich girl like yourself asks you to be her boyfriend, people have a pretty good idea of what that situation could be. I don't know if you're trying to turn down an arranged marriage or whatnot, but I can't help anyone that's trying to deceive someone, even if it's temporarily. Th that is not what I'm doing, though. Uh, wait, are you crying? N no, I'm not. Uh, but... I'm sorry, I should have listened to your whole story. Huh? If you have something on your mind, I'll listen. I can't make up a decision whether to take the offer or not without the full story anyway. D does that mean I should tell you everything? If you can't tell me everything, I can't accept the offer. Either way, you're a pretty girl, so you could ask the other guys. But pretty? They'll be happy to take that offer. I, I want you to be my boyfriend, Namiki. Well, just because I've taken a lot of offers doesn't mean I'll be helpful for this one. I've never even gone out with anyone before, so the other guys might be a better option. Th that is not what I mean. What is it then? Do I have to say it? I'm sorry, but I'm not a psychic, so I need you to put it into words. Hey, you are mean. What? You don't want to talk about it that much? Because if I tell you... Uh, hey, Aikawa? Yes? Will you swear to me that you're not trying to deceive anyone? I, I swear! You're not trying to hurt anyone? Y yes Fine. If that's the case, I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Really? Yeah, I mean what I say. Th thank you so much! But why all of a sudden? Well, there's no way Aikawa would do something to try to hurt others, but I can't tell her that. Plus, if Aikawa wants someone to pretend to be her boyfriend, she must be caught in some sort of trouble. Although that's all coming from someone who did doubt her in the beginning. It's just a sudden change of mind. Namaki. Also, forget the money. It's my apology for doubting you. N no, that's... I will pay you. I don't need it. But it is a commission, so the reward... How about I get to go on a date with you for the reward? What? Why are you all that surprised? Uh, of course I am, all of a sudden. Well, I thought if I was going to play the role of your boyfriend, we would probably go on at least one date. And since a lot of guys would want to go on a date with you, I thought it would be a good reward. Huh? Is that what you meant? Well, yeah. Er... Uh, kawa san <laughs> Um, why are you making that face? Her unexpected reaction made me nervous. She glanced at me with a disgruntled look. As usual, you're leading me on with those remarks. Leading you on? No, it's nothing. Anyways, is it okay for you to be my boyfriend from tomorrow? Oh, it's not from today? It is already lunchtime. If we begin tomorrow, I can get you to be my boyfriend for one whole week from the morning. Ah, I see. You just don't want a loss for half a day. <laughs> what a diligent girl. All right. All the best from tomorrow. Yes. And so we were going to be a couple for a week. I have no clues to why she asked me to do this, but it won't be bad for a change. Tomorrow morning. Good morning, Haruka. Why are you here? And Haruka? I'm your girlfriend, so I came to pick you up. And since we are a couple, I'll be calling you your first name now. Oh no, I wasn't expecting this at all. She came all the way just to pick me up. <laughs> Looks pretty happy too. 
Haruka, please get on. Let's go to school together. Uh, no thanks. H how come? Because everyone's gonna be looking. If we go to school in a car like this, we'll be the center of attention. And if I get out of the car with a girl as popular as Aikawa, the word would spread in an instant saying we're in a relationship. We're gonna break up in a week, but the gossip would surely continue for a while after that. Ah, uh, I understand. I'm already used to it, but I guess you would not be so comfortable. I'm glad you understand. Go ahead then. Let's walk to school then. I will tell him to go back. What? I am very sorry, but will you please go back? Hey, Aikawa? Yes, Haruka will protect me, so I will be fine. Please get home safely yourself, too. My muddled voice could reach Aikawa, who smiled and sent the chauffeur home. Shall we get going, then? You could have taken the car yourself. I cannot. Huh? I cannot. How come? Couples are supposed to go to school together. I see. Also, please call me Chiro. We're a couple now. Uh... Wait, is she allowed to do anything just because we're a couple? I did not expect this at all. Just because we're a couple doesn't mean we have to do all of this. There are couples in the beginning who call each other by their last names, too. We cannot. No, seriously. We cannot. Uh... We made a promise, so please cooperate for one week if it's all right with you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So, without further ado... Hey, what are you doing? I'm just grabbing onto you. Is this how we're going to school? Yes, we're a couple now. You gotta be kidding me. We're just a couple for one week and she goes this far. I know she's naive, but we'll be the center of attention going to school like this. <laughs> uh, how come you look so happy? <laughs> I wonder why. You're not scheming, are you? Please don't worry. I'm just happy for the moment. Wait, this girl's really cute. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Hmm? Is that so? Let's get going then. Oh, there you are, Namiki. Namiki, for the next performance, can you... Wait, what the hell are you doing? What is it all of a sudden? Why the hell are you holding hands with a Kawasan? Are you kidding me? Um, no, this... <laughs> he let me be Haruka's girlfriend. What? What's the matter? I'm not lying. You're right, but... It's not like that. I can't believe you laid hands on our idol. Calm down, all right? Calm down and listen to me. Shut up, you traitor. Hey. Oh, no. He's going to tell everyone at school. What a joyful person. He's a vocalist of the band you frequently play drums with, right? How do you know? It's a famous story. Famous? Nobody at school ever mentioned that before, though. I just thought about it, but... Aren't we basically lying to everyone at school with this relationship? We are a couple for one week, so it isn't a lie. I mean, you're right, but we're basically a fake couple. I'm starting to feel bad for the guys that actually like I Chihiro. Oh. Huh? What are you doing now? Nothing. It's because you won't look my way. I finally get to go to school together, so I want your company. Why is this girl saying such cute things? And she's so cute. Anyways, we should hurry. We're gonna be late. <laughs> Even if you pop off your cheeks like that, it won't help. Haruka, you're malevolent! I didn't think a girl like you would know that word. We're on our way to school with exchanges like this. And then... Are you serious? Aikawa-san is actually with a guy? Isn't that Namiki, the odd job guy? How is he the one dating Aikawa-san? I'm not asking you for jobs anymore! Yeah, I had a feeling. My imagination's going down the drain. How am I gonna make any money now? Haruka, are you available? Er, Chihiro. Uh, Haruka, let's eat lunch together. You're incredible. Even with all this attention. I want to stay with you, so it doesn't bother me. Um, I... Let's go eat somewhere else. Yes! Being this naive is scary, I thought. We then moved to a different location. Chihiro looked really happy eating her lunch next to me. Eating with her turned my heart warmer. She's a bit of an airhead, so it's troubling from time to time, but that's her charm too. Should I even be allowed to be such a cute girl's fake boyfriend? <laughs> what is it all of a sudden? I want to be spoiled after eating. Aren't you supposed to be sleepy after eating? I want to be spoiled by you, Haruka. Oh man, you're too cute. Maybe I'm too easy. I can't handle her charm as she shows affection for me. What's gonna happen to me a week from now? The result? 
Haruka, squeeze! <laughs> Chihiro, you're such a baby. Only to you, Haruka. Week went by and I had fallen for her deeply. But this relationship ends today. I have no regrets. Chihiro? Thank you for listening to my wishes. I'm satisfied, Haruka. Today's still not over yet, though. Yes, but I'm afraid that if we stay together any longer, the feelings I've worked so hard to sort out will be ruined again. I'm supposed to have an arranged marriage this weekend. Huh? An arranged marriage? Yes, this is why I wanted to do this in order to bring closure to my feelings. I had feelings for you, Namiki. Uh... When I was a first year student, you helped me in many ways. From gently teaching me how to clean the room walls, I didn't know how to do it, to helping me carry materials for my classes. To top it all off, you used the money you earned from your odd job business to feed the cats you secretly kept behind the school building. I thought you were a very kind person, and I started developing feelings for you. Really, thank you very much for accommodating my selfishness until today. Well then, goodbye. After saying what she had to say, Chihiro turned her back to me. Wait! Huh? Don't just end the conversation on your own! I haven't expressed my feelings yet! N Namaki? Did you think I thought nothing of you after showing me affection like that for a week? Were you not able to notice the change in my attitude? I already fell for you, Chihiro! I can't leave you like this, especially after hearing you express your feelings like that! N no way! I thought you were just devoting yourself to the boyfriend act! I'm not that talented! The way you showed affection was so cute! I started liking you and pampered you on purpose! I can't believe it, but I'm sorry! There's nothing I can do anymore! Do you even want an arranged marriage? Of course not! I want to stay with you too, but... Let's not give up yet! Will you let me speak to your father? What? Let's both confess our feelings to him. If we do it well, he will understand. Uh, are you sure? Will he understand? I'm sure. He's the father that raised you, right? Although I've never met him, I have a hint to what kind of person he is. If her parents are harsh and only held her down, she wouldn't have grown up to be such a sweet, happy-go-lucky girl. So I thought there was a good chance that if I talked to him, he would understand. Okay, I'm hoping for the best. So we had a talk with Chihiro's father. To be honest, my niece felt weak the moment I saw him, but we were able to thoroughly express our feelings. And then... All right. If you two insist that much, I shall leave you to be in charge of my daughter. He accepted us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Haruka, I'm so glad. Hey, uh, Chihiro, your father is still in front of us. <laughs> it's fine. She looks so happy. I won't do anything to interrupt that. I see. Well, be as it may, since you're going to be my daughter's fiance from today, I'd better make sure you're well-educated. Would you mind? Uh... To avoid making an embarrassment in future social gatherings, you do your best. He'll be all right. Haruka will learn in no time. Chihiro's confidence is scaring me. And from that day on, I was to be drilled in good manners by the strict maid of the Aikawa family. Yeah, to be honest, this was hell. I can't believe Chihiro grew up in this. In exchange, I was able to stay with her. I'm sure there will be a lot of trials and tribulations waiting ahead. With such a cute girlfriend, I feel like I can get through anything. Haruka. Yeah? What is it? <laughs> I really like you. Yeah, I feel unstoppable. Isaka, you're fired! What? President, that's a little too far, don't you think? I'm Kosuke Isaka, salesman for a cosmetics company. Stop talking nonsense! You know, you almost blew a contract with one of our clients when you stood us up! Er, uh, I... I understand. I didn't expect to get fired. He's right. I did miss one of the appointments with the client. But there was a reason for that. My colleague and girlfriend, Ayumi Shindo, had told me the wrong time of our appointment by accident. I had just apologized to the angry client and managed to get things under control. I come back to the office, and this is what I get. If I persist too much, it might cause damage to Ayumi as well. There was nothing I could do. I can't bring Ayumi into this and get her fired too. At least it's just me getting dismissed. 
But how should I tell Ayumi? Look, there she is. This is getting her either way. I just need to man up and let her know. What? You're dating the president? Yeah, it's a secret, all right. What? But aren't you with Isaka? You guys were dating, right? Oh, Kosuke? I thought he was a promising stock, but he's too good-natured to get anywhere. If you ask me who I'd rather pick, I mean, come on. Wow, you're terrible. But if you do things like that, won't that ruin a lot of relationship within the workplace? He'll be fired soon. I wonder what it'll look like when I tell him I purposely sk He'll be fired soon. I wonder what he'll look like when I tell him I purposely gave him the wrong time to meet with a client. <laughs> I... I can't believe it! That was on purpose! Telling the president isn't gonna help. If Ayumi is actually cheating on me with the president, there's no need for me to be here. Unbelievable. What am I gonna do? I lost both my job and my girlfriend in one day. I can't believe Ayumi was cheating on me with the president. There's a possibility that the boss was in on this plan to get me fired as well. How am I gonna survive? No, no. Being down about it won't help. In times like these, I need to listen to my favorite artist to raise my spirits. Samugi Omiya has the best songs. Samugi Omiya is my new number one upcoming idol. Apparently their management is weak, so they're not very popular. But whenever I'm having a tough time, her songs cheer me up. Samugi Omiya is probably working hard right now, so I need to as well. Oh, there's the train. Oh no! The moment I stood up, the headphone jack disconnected and the music played from the speakers. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, how embarrassing. I'm just not having any luck today. Um, that song is by Sumigo and Mia, right? Yes. Someone is talking to me, but I'm too embarrassed to look up. Do you like it? The song? Well, yeah. Why? Huh? Wait! Samugi Omiya! Look how my fave is standing right in front of me! It's the real Samugi Omiya, right? Wait, she's bawling her eyes out! Huh? Oh no, everyone's looking over here. Uh, let's change locations! I'm sorry for crying in a place like that. No, I don't mind that. You're Samugi Omiya, right? The idol? Yeah, I guess you can call it an idol. X idol would be more like it. Huh? X? I got fired from my agency. I was unsuccessful, so there's nothing I could do, but... What? No one wanted me anyway, so I thought about giving up so I can go back to my hometown. And that's when I met my very first fan. So I got very emotional. That's why... You sing so well. How can they fire you? You're the only one who says that. I'm really glad we met. Thanks to you, I feel like everything we've been through wasn't a waste. I can go back to my hometown with a clear mind. Thank you for your support all this time. There were a lot of tough moments, but I think I can look back with a smile. As she was about to leave, her face was filled with regret. Wait! Huh? Why don't you try becoming an idol again? I'll help you out too. I've been encouraged by your songs many times, including today. So if you still have regrets from your career, I'd like to return the favor this time. But all of a sudden, I feel like I don't deserve to be an idol. There's no need to think like that. Just tell me if you want to or not. Well, I still want to be an idol. I don't want to quit. All right, then let's do it together. Yes. Although I lost everything, I thought about standing back up just for her. And so, Samugi and I set up a small office and ran around looking for jobs all day and night. Most of them were hopeless, but we were able to grab one opportunity. That was this audition. We finally have a chance! If she passes this audition, she can participate in the joint live performance for Up and Coming Idols next month. The joint live concert is called the Gateway to Success for Idols and idols who attract attention at this event are reputed to make their big break in a flash. I I'm nervous. I never had auditions this big before. Are you all right? 
We should get ready to dance so we have some time to relax. Y yes Calm down. Calm down, me. Samugi, you're so nervous. Your hands are shaking. She can't put on makeup like this. Samugi, hand me those. Huh? Kosuke-san? I'll do it for you. Wow, Kosuke-san, you're pretty good at this. I used to work for a cosmetics company. And when you demonstrate during the sales, customers were more likely to sign contracts with you. So I did my best to learn. That's a surprising skill. <laughs> I would have never thought those skills would come in handy. Here, done. Wow, is this really me? Do you like it? Yes, I've never had my makeup done like this before. Because in my old agency, we had to provide our own makeup and wardrobe. Her spirits seem to be lifted a little bit. Looking like this, you'll be an idol that can take on any stage. Let's challenge the audition with confidence. Yes, I'll do my best for you too. Kosuke-san, the results for the edition are out. Really? What does it say? Uh, I'm too afraid to open it. Kosuke-san, please look at it. Let's see. The result is... The results? Pass! Now we get into the next big one! Yes! I'm happy for you, Samugi. Yes, this is all thanks to you, Kosuke-san! No, 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 no. It's because you work so hard. My bad, getting so close to you. N no, I was really happy. Huh? Does that mean... Oh, no! I was happy with the result of the audition! Well, I mean, if you asked me if I wasn't happy about being hugged, I was. What am I saying? <laughs> calm down, Samuki. I understand. Y yes I'll try to calm down. He's completely flustered. Anyways, we finally have a chance. If you do well here, Transferring to a major agency is not just a dream. The top executives from various major agencies come to the live performances, and those who find something that shines can negotiate them to transfer in exchange for a transfer fee to their former agency. Yes! It's finally my chance in this life as an idol! I'll give it everything I got! That's it! Let's start training for the next performance! Let's do it! Yes! And so the day of the Big Life concert came. We've been working hard for this day, and Samugi has the talent. If she can perform to her true potential, I'm sure she'll do well. But there was one thing that I had a bad feeling about. Various companies come to the idols who make their breakthrough at these gateway to success live performances, hoping they will become billboards for their own products. When I was at the last company, I tried to set up some deals with idols as well. Which means... Huh? Is that who I think it is? His voice. Uh, it's you, Isaka. Been a while. Oh, Kosuke. I was worried because you haven't answered my calls. What are you doing here? How could you? Shameless. They probably don't even feel any sense of guilt. Hello. There's been a lot thanks to you, but I'm a manager for an idol now. Huh? You were able to get a new job? Which agency? It's a new agency I started. Started, huh? <laughs> started a company because you couldn't be reemployed. That's quite the interesting idea. <laughs> it's rude to laugh, President. That's still my ex, you know. I see. I don't know what kind of idol you're raising, but good luck regardless. <laughs> Bye. Don't get thrown away by your own idol now. <laughs> That's none of your business. If she can make a name for herself here and get into a big agency, they'll give her a big manager with experience, not a temporary one like me. If that happens, I have no place anymore. Well, I was willing to do this from the start. My job is to take her to the next stage. No time to be thinking about this right now. I need to check up on Samugi. Samugi, you're almost up. Are you ready? Uh, Kosuke-san. Yes, I'm fine. Her expressions don't seem like she's fine. Samugi, is there something on your mind? Actually, look over there. Is that President Toyama from Yuki Productions? Yuki Productions is one of the biggest agencies that's come to the audition. The company's ability to market idols is world class, 
and 90% of the top idols who are successful in the entertainment industry today belong to Yuki Productions. I auditioned there before and I failed miserably. I didn't even stand a chance. Samugi. That time, I stood no chance and I thought it would be pointless to keep singing. She's turning negative, remembering her past setbacks. But I think if it's Samugi, she stands a chance against any idol. It wasn't the big name idols that cheered me up. It was always you, Samugi. Kosuke-san. It doesn't matter which office or who's watching. You sing for the people who come to see, right? Yes, you're right. I forgot something so important. Yes, I'll make it a stage everyone can't forget. Yes, that's more like it. I'll be watching over you. I'm glad she was able to get her mind right. There's no doubt in my mind that it'll be a great performance. It's your turn. Get after it, Samugi. Everyone, let's have fun together today. She came out with the brightest smile. And as a manager, this is the first and last time seeing her stage. Her songs are incredible after all. If she's signing this bright, there is no doubt someone will pick her up. <sighs> it's done. Yeah, good job. It was great. Thank you very much. I always get nervous before a performance, but today I was able to have a lot of fun. It's all thanks to you, Kosuke-san. No, 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 no. It was all you. Huh? Who's that? Oh, hi. Wait, what? Excuse me. My name is Toyama from Yuki Productions. Is this Samugi Omiya's dressing room? Yes, it is. Please, come in. Who is it? Wait, what? President Toyama? I see. You know who I am already. Then let's get right to it. I came scouting for you. We would love to have you in our agency. M me In Yuki Productions? <laughs> That's right. You were the best amongst all your other peers. Yes! I knew you were going to get scouted. But who would have thought you'd get an offer from Yuki Productions? I'm so happy for you, Samugi. Yes, I'm so glad I didn't give it up that time. Yeah, I knew you would do it. What a happy end for Samugi. And it is the end of the road for me as well. Um, please take good care of Samugi on behalf of me. What? If managed by professionals, I'm sure she can flourish even more. Wait a second. What do you mean? Samugi, you're going to be a member of Yuki Productions from now on. And you'll have a proper manager. Not a temporary manager like me. That's... The only reason I was able to come this far was because of you, Kosuke-san! No, Samugi. You were always shining from the beginning, even when my heart was about to break after being fired from my old company for an unreasonable reason. I could make it because of your song, so you could do fine without me. Th that's not true! If I hadn't met you, I would have quit my life as an idol right then and there! If you're not around, transferring is... Stop! Don't be so naive! This is the chance you've been chasing your whole life! That's exactly why! It's a chance we grab together! Let's keep going together! That's absurd! You are the one that got scouted! Hmm? I'm sorry to interrupt while you two get heated, but there seems to be a misunderstanding. What? When did I ever say I was only going to scout Samugi? Yeah, but... Aisaka, I came here not only to scout Samugi, but you as well. What? Why me? Samugi, I believe you came to our audition two years ago. Y yes you remembered me? Of course! I remember every girl I see auditioning. But at that time, I didn't see anything in you. Er, you're right. But today, you shine brighter than anyone else. You are now blossoming into an idol with wonderful qualities. It was a shameful blunder on our part to miss such a gem in the rough. President Toyama. isaka you have done a wonderful job of recognizing talent that even we couldn't spot and nurturing it to this level. So, me too? Yes, I'd really like for you to join our company and help us as Samugi's personal manager. Yes, we can continue working together, Kosuke-san. Uh, yeah, I'm still surprised and confused, but looks like it. I'm so relieved. I was wondering what I'd do without you. Samugi, looks like this was a big relief for her. I'm glad too, because I wanted to keep working with you as well. <laughs>
Feels like the future has suddenly opened up for us. And I look forward to working with Samugi in many different fields. Not just for music, but entertainment, TV shows, and commercials. Commercials? Huh. Am I forgetting something? Oh, Toyama-san! There you are! Wow! It was an amazing live performance! Oh, hey! We decided to go with these two here. Oh, these two! Wait, what? Isaka? Well, yeah. Looks like it. I'm gonna stay as her manager, too. Sabuki's management is all up to Isaka. Any offers must go through him. I see. Actually, Isaka used to work for our company. And I had my eye on him because he had so much potential. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? All right, then. I'll leave you all to discuss further. I need to go to my next meeting. What? Right. What do you want to do, Samugi? <laughs> of course I would like to decline. I don't want to work with companies that treat him the way they did. What? Isaka, please put some sense in her! I'm sorry. I can't have companies that I have no trust for around my idols. Ayumi! To be honest, none of this would have happened if you didn't cheat on him! Ah, they started arguing. <laughs> Won't be long for these two. Smoogie, leave them alone and let's go. Ah, <sighs> finally we can get a breather. Yeah, there was a lot going on today. That's true, but ever since I met you, my days have been turbulent, and I think I finally reached a point where I can relax a little. <laughs> the real deal begins from here. Yes, um, Kosuke-san, can I borrow your ear for a second? Huh? Some confidential talk. Huh? Uh, Samugi? I just felt something very soft against my cheek. You're an idol. It, it's my way of giving thanks. You've helped me a lot through all of this. Uh, oh, I understand. There's nothing you can do about that, yeah. I didn't know what was coming out of my mouth. Uh, um, I said this was where we finally get our breather, but I'm gonna need your help in the future too, so... Kosuke-san, I look forward to working with you. Yeah! I felt I could face any difficulty for the sake of this girl who always cheered me up when I was having a hard time. <laughs>